Petzl released the original Duo headlamp way back in the mid-90s. It was kind of revolutionary as a caving headlamp in that it had two bulbs, thus the Duo name. One was a lower brightness incandescent bulb with a broad beam pattern for proximity lighting that had a longer runtime. The other bulb was a high intensity halogen with a focusing reflector for short duration but long distance illumination. The dual bulbs provided some built-in redundancy which was a nice feature since the bulbs were nowhere near as reliable as modern LEDs. The helmet mounted version of the lamp ran on four AA batteries and both the head and the battery case were waterproof. This electric light was very popular with cavers and for many became the go-to replacement for carbide lamps or heavier electric wheat lamps. The Duo went through a few upgrades in which the incandescent bulb was replaced with various arrays of white LEDs that were brighter and more efficient, but development of this light stopped in the late 90s. In recent years, companies such as Custom Duo have developed boards with even brighter and more efficient LEDs that could be easily plugged into the two-pin LED socket to even further upgrade the old Duo housings. In 2018, Petzl has released three new headlamps under the Duo brand, including the Z1, Z2, and flagship S model. Contrary to the name, each of these headlamps is actually equipped with three LEDs, so it seems like it should be called the Trio. The Z1 is designed for industrial use, and the Z2 and S models are the ones that are of interest to cavers. The Z2 model is powered by AA batteries with a maximum output of 430 lumens, whereas the S model is powered by rechargeable lithium-ion battery packs and can generate a maximum of 1100 lumens. Both lights are considered waterproof and carry an IP67 rating. They are not dive lights, but should remain waterproof under typical caving conditions. Petzl includes mounting plates that work with slots molded into some of their helmets, including the Vertex and Alveo. Otherwise, you'll need to buy additional adhesive mountable plates if you want to adapt it to a non-Petzl helmet, or just use the included elastic head strap. The case for the head and battery compartment are made of engineered plastic and are reasonably rugged but it does seem a bit low quality for a light that costs up to $450. Most competing lights in this price range are made of anodized aluminum and stainless steel. The Duo models all have three LEDs. The upper center LED has a diffuser and provides a wide beam pattern. The lower center LED has a reflector that generates a hybrid semi-focused beam, and the LED on the far right has an even more focused optic and generates a very bright and narrow spot beam. None of the LEDs can be controlled individually, the lamp is designed so that the LEDs are used in pre-programmed combinations for different types of activities. This simplifies operation, but limits options. To turn on the light, you rotate the spring-loaded switch forward and hold for two seconds. Rotate the switch forward or backward and release to switch between modes. Rotate the switch backward and hold for two seconds to turn it off. The Duo Z2 model is powered by four AA batteries and has four standard modes plus a temporary boost mode. The battery case has a locking lever that releases the battery box, which is sealed with a pair of O-rings. I recommend using rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries such as those made by Eneloop. Mode 1 generates 50 lumens and has a runtime of 15 and a half hours. Mode 2 has an output of 120 lumens and has a runtime of 6 and 3 quarters hours. Mode 3 has an output of 220 lumens with a runtime of 2 hours. Mode 4 has an output of 180 lumens with a runtime of 2.75 hours. And the boost mode utilizes all three LEDs and is activated by rotating the switch forward and holding for 2 seconds. This high intensity output only stays on for 5 seconds before returning to the previous standard mode. So it has limited utility and it can only be used for brief glances at more distant targets. The boost mode has an output of 430 lumens, but since it's only activated for 5 seconds at a time, it doesn't have a significant effect on battery life. With these relatively short run times, you'll want to do most of your caving in mode 1 or 2, and save the other modes for activities where more light is needed temporarily. The Duo S model is powered by an included lithium-ion battery. The battery is made of a pair of 18650 cells wired in series to give a 7.4 volt, 3200 milliamp hour pack. The pack is also equipped with an LED charge capacity indicator, which is a very nice feature. The batteries have proprietary connectors and charger, so if you use this system, you're obligated to buy the relatively expensive batteries from Petzl. The Duo S has five standard modes plus a boost mode. These modes range from 80 lumens for the lowest setting to 700 lumens for the highest continuous setting, and the lamp will generate 1100 lumens for five seconds in boost mode. The lithium ion battery pack in the Duo S has approximately double the capacity of four AA batteries in the Duo Z2, but it's apparent from the lumen and runtime numbers that the Duo S is also running more efficiently than the Duo Z2. The Duo lamps are equipped with light sensors that enable a feature Petzl calls face-to-face, -face, which reduces brightness when headlamps are pointed at each other. This is intended to prevent blinding other people and seems like a good idea, 
but this version of the technology only works with other Duo headlamps. Petzl has reactive lighting on some of its other headlamps that reduces brightness based on reflected or ambient light, which seems to be more universally usable. The only way face-to-face -face works is if everyone in your group is using headlamps with this proprietary technology. There are quite a few things I don't like about the new Duo headlamps. The light is quite expensive for being made of plastic. Other lights in this price range have a more premium build quality. It also appears from the specs on lumen output and battery runtime that the LEDs and or optics being used aren't competitive in terms of efficiency. There are a number of design decisions that employ proprietary mounting systems, batteries, and chargers that force you to buy components from Petzl. But even Petzl's batteries and chargers have not been standardized from one generation of headlamp to the next. Even the lithium-ion batteries used in the Duo Z1 and Duo S are not interchangeable. For the type of multi-day expedition caving I do, I'd need to buy at least four or five of these batteries at nearly $100 a piece, and there would be no interchangeability of batteries or chargers between lamps that many other cavers use such as the Sten, Manly, or Scurion. There are a few things I like about the dual headlamps. They are easy to operate and the batteries contain a charge indicator. Even though the lamps are expensive for the materials used, the plastic is high quality and the lamps are rugged, durable, and waterproof. Perhaps there is a market for these headlamps in the industrial world, but for caving I can't really recommend either the Duo Z2 or the Duo S. The Duo Z2 is $250 but runs on AA batteries. For less than $100 there are options such as the Princeton Tech Apex or Phoenix HP15 that run on AA batteries and have higher lumen outputs and run times. For serious expedition caving almost everyone has converted to lithium ion batteries for their high capacity and long life, which would favor the Duo S model. However, at the $450 price point of the Duo S, there are several other lights available with better build quality, higher brightness and efficiency, better customizability, and better standardization. It's not that these aren't good lights or that they aren't suitable for caving. They're probably the best designed and most rugged plastic headlamps made, but the pricing should be roughly half in order to make them a compelling value.